Today, I just want to take some time to review and show some clips from this 20M podcast interview with Dominic. I'll link it in the comments below if you're curious. Because I think this highlight really showcases the internal battles that are going on with Neopets as just a company and through Dominic. The first one being the battle between nostalgia and modernizing the game. The second one being what works and isn't working for Neopets and what the new current landscape is for gaming. Because that's an important battle for Dominic as he talks about this in the interview. And then the third and most damning one is a tried and true and understood thing and when overextending is what cripples and ruins a franchise or a company. Because to me the battle here is if Dominic is overextending not being straightforward with how he plans to move the IP versus delivering wins now to the actual game. Because I just did the whole crypto NFT thing, the whole shit show, and how that will not be talked about in this entire fucking interview. How they basically developed a fucking metaverse game called World of Neopia or Neopads, and that's still going to be called, he goes in this interview, that's the... Hold on. He refers to the Metaverse new game, but won't be NFTs, as the new flagship game of Neopets. So in case you're wondering why the game doesn't get updates, and why the game's still shit, it's because his vision, like I said in my last videos, the vision is to move away from Neopets into World of Neopia. Neopets. That's the transition. So all the people who are buying and investing in Neopets, that's that's the old news. That's the old family van. We're going to ride till it dies. But we're 100% banking money now for the new vehicle that's going to be with us in the future. So let's keep going here. So the first two minutes is them just shooting the shit. How do you get into the game? Dominic's like, when I was a kid, I was in Canada. And then I moved to China. Then I came back. My friends were like, hey, yo. There's Neopets, and this is like probably 2002. And his friend's like, you should play. So then when he goes back to China, he can now play with his friends. He can send messages and whatnot. And that's the first thing we have to understand about nostalgia. Nostalgia takes place at a certain time. And we love and use that word because it's something that you can't recapture. And then you go, oh... I look back at that with fondness and you go, oh, that's cool. But that day has gone and passed. Like when you see like an old Walkman or like a set or someone carrying a boom box, it's like, oh, like you go, oh, I remember when we played basketball practice in the gym and we used that. And you, you look back with fondness, but you're no longer really chasing that experience because you know it's gone. It's fleeting. That's the thing. Everyone wishes to know when they're in the good times before they're out of them. But that's not how childhood works or innocence or that even your life in any any actual way. But anyway, going forward. All right. Clip one is basically him talking about why he ended up buying out Neopets. So here we go. Side. So eventually I did lead a side project for, for Neopets uh, to experience uh, how we can modernize it, how we can revive it. And it's during that uh, um, that. Um, during that uh, kind of like a restructuring process, we saw that there's a lot of value and there's a lot of like things that we could do to revive the Neopets IP and I get to... Okay, so when you hear that, he says two things. He wants to, there's value and to revive the game. So how do you revive nostalgia? Right? There's various old games that have, they were popular in the 2000s and they, they found a way. But those people never strayed away from what worked. Like I said before, what worked for the, this specific game and what it offers uniquely versus modernizing. Because almost all of Dominic's shit he's going to talk about is comparison or comparing himself to new modern games that work and those kind of IPs. And any person 
who's lived life or done anything competitively, you know that comparison is the death of joy. And it sure as fuck is a bad business plan. You can't compare yourself to someone who's more talented who works harder because then you go, oh, like it just sucks the joy out of it, knowing that when, when you don't win, it's like, oh, I wish I, yeah. It, your life and what's working for you, like you have to find your own ways to enjoy that and your own perspective and go from there, right? You're not going to be the most popular kid. You're not going to be the best athlete, yada, yada, yada. And that's a lot of what Dominic does in this interview. It's he'll go out and say like he knows he can't compete with these AAA companies, but then he just purposefully just strays from the fucking plot. We get these stupid fucking, we're getting the Connect 3 fucking dot mobile app game in 2025. We're getting a modern building. Everything he's doing has been done and has been done better by Neopets. And we're just going to reskin the game. How is that going to... It doesn't do anything for the main IP. But... Alright, let's go to clip two here. We have like a, a long good few months to negotiate with our senior management at NetDragon. Also have like proposing a business plan to show that we have a plan ahead that we can revive this IP and bring it further. And I'm glad we're where we're at now. And finally, in July, earlier this year, in July, uh, we officially took over and spun off a new pest from, from NetDragon. Uh, now we can say we're, we're free of a copper bag baggage and we can drive a lot more innovation and be very agile and kind of like really bring new pets uh, back. And so I'm really excited. So we can go forward, we're free of baggage, bring it further, right? So even there, you can get the sense that the transition isn't like he's not trying to make the base game and standard game of he, he's straying from the main process. He wants to take it to a different place, which to him is merchandise, TCG game, mobile app games, and then the flagship new world of or universe of whatever Neopets. It's so frustrating to understand hey we've had this base game for 25 years how about we release version 2.0 all that work all that money you spent there's going to be no way to put it from the old to new i'm going to guess that's just going to be a learning curve they're going to probably franchise like, it's a brand new experience everyone come new they all the big thing i have criticized them a lot about is they don't take care of the loyal members, the people who keep it alive. So I'll talk about it later. But he basically says what keeps Neopets alive is the nostalgia. People like their pets and the community. So like none of that involves any in-game content. <laughs> like it's so frustrating when you're like, hey, like, Keep playing the game because you liked it, you played it before, and pets. Like, there's nothing new. The bottleneck of Neopets, and they just don't release anything new. They're spending nothing new on the base game because it, it, it's clear, and he hasn't been very forward about it. The transition is always going to be a different game. Right, like right now he's dating Neopets, but he knows that he's not marrying them. We're gonna try and marry the fucking metaverse fucking game or the Neopia. So you right now you're the side chick playing the side game, paying money for the side game, and he's just like that's why he's selling the fuck out of the game. He's mid maxing the amount of profit he can get. That's why he doesn't care about botters and people buying money, like I've talked about many times. He doesn't give a fuck about that because of that he doesn't care about the game integrity or health because he's always moving to a different place. So any nickel and dime he can squeeze out of you, perfect. Unless you flaunt on the forums, you bought MP, or you piss off enough people, don't expect jack shit of any kind of integrity or banning. That's just it's that simple. Just don't flex. You've broken the rules and you're not gonna get banned. Okay, so shortly after this, she goes out of her way to really hit on the fucking head a big part of nostalgia and Neopets as a kid. And she goes out of her way to go, hey, a really cool part of Neopets that as a kid I remember is that it was a way for me to connect with my friends when we're not from home. So circa 2000, 
No one had a fucking phone. No, no one had an iPad. We didn't have Facebook or MySpace or whatever online chat. That was the Facebook for a lot of people when they were a child. Hey, these are my friends. I can send them a pet. We can compare this. But once we had a better place to do chatting and talking to people, we transitioned away from Neopets. For example, I remember when I got MSN Messenger. Yeah. Once we could talk and just have direct messages and there's no filter, no nothing, and it's, it's instant, and you know they're online, the messages of a Neopets was dead instantly. It was dead on arrival, and I was there was never a thought of me going back. It had a cool service, but that, that, that feature and aspect is gone. And no human being 20 years later is like, you know what I love to do is work on a fucking swear filter from 2003. Awesome. Said no one ever. So, like, n they don't capitalize on what worked for Neopets. Because at, at some point he's going to say there's 150 million people playing. Yes. And then once something even remotely competitive took over, there was never going back. It was always going forward. We're going to skip pretty far ahead here because they do a bit of a, a you know, a LARP session of what they did in the game. And basically, they were poor. They liked the Hegel and there's show show side of it. I think that just means like showing off your shit and doing your own little thing. But here we go. This is important. He's going to talk now about the gameplay and how he views Neopets as a game, what's important. Okay, so it's going to be another 20 second clip. So let's go. Now we call it Neopia. That, that actually has all these different gameplays that you can choose. So we think really, I think it really embraced creativity and embraced like diversity and people choose their own adventure and play it however they want. But I think at its core, it's still the, the, the kind of companionship either from the Neopets or your fellow Neopians and being all together and experience the game together. So how do you do that when you don't add new content to the game? They're, like it's just heavily fucking bottlenecked. When you don't release content for people to be excited to talk about, interact with, what's, if people, it's so hard to explain to like, this broken ass fucking game. That they talk about how they're agile moving forward and all this. But there's not a single new in-game feature since they've taken over basically close to a year now. Absolutely nothing new. Meanwhile, they're spending every nickel, penny, and fucking dime on this metaverse abomination. Which, like, it could be interesting and fun. But no one's asking for them to redo this. There needs to be a want and demand. And the people who have the want and demand are already playing the game that you already have. Do they expect people to play Neopets, pay money for that, buy subscriptions for that, keep buying the capsules and various in-game NC items, and then they're also going to play on the side version 2.0? It just sounds so, like... I don't understand how this idea was pitched and got approved. I like I don't understand. She asks him here now, like, what's their plan going forward? And all he talks about for Neopets is, hey, there's bugs. We're going to upgrade the servers. And then we're not going to talk about botting. Not going to talk about NFTs. We're not, like, like, it's a thing, like, how do I have respect and look forward to something when we don't acknowledge the fuck ups we don't like he just keeps doubling down on dumb shit and we're gonna hear his plan on how he has this and once again he keeps trying to modernize the game as if he's fucking nintendo right it's one of those crippling things i always expect him to fucking make a fucking uh, what are those games called, like, fighter games, where you can, like, you can be a Shoy versus a fucking, whatever, a, a Lenny, like a, like, like a MOBA? No. Shit. Come on, get it together. Maybe they're called battle arenas, but something like that. I don't expect them to move that, but 
like I said many times, unless the base game is the fucking flagship that's getting people constantly, don't branch out. Because no, no one's branching to the little side thing that come into the main game. No person who's 35 or 30 is like, oh man, this fucking TCG game with like fairies on it and fucking hot dogs. Oh, what's the base game like? It's dog shit. But let's move on. So then he'll talk about going forward here. So we're going to skip ahead here to about 747. Uh, the new, new, new game experiences that we're also building would be a lot more... Um kind of like geared towards like a modernized gameplay uh, so for example we're bringing out like new uh, mobile apps like uh, games out there that will be neopets related so two of them are more like side games one of them is like a match three game called fairy's hope and the other one is like a town building game called island builders so those have been in development for the past like uh, two years and uh very so so we spent two years working on something that does not directly help the main base game Just imagine if Pokemon wasn't a success and then they tried to release the Pokemon TCG game on Game Boy Advance. Like, no. like imagine Digimon made like a card game when their main TV show didn't go well or if the TCG didn't go well. Why, why, why would you make the console game, not console, your handheld console game? for the Game Boy Advance when the first two fucked up. You don't. The first one did amazing. Then we spin to the TCG. Kids love that? Cool. Let's make an actual virtual version of the game for your Game Boy. You can see the linear proper progression where, hey, like let, let's see what's going to work and what sells well. But the main franchise, you'll never see Pokemon not pumping out new episodes, new fucking Pokemon, new shit. New variations like Pokemon Snap. If that game had been had 50 levels, I would have 18 copies of it right now. But that game was too short. One of those things. I just don't understand why we want to spend two years in dev for a mobile app game. Mobile apps have come and gone for the most part. And who are they going to compete against? Right? This next gen. Triple <sighs> A games exist for a reason. And you can't lay four, five, six, seven duds in a row from a marketing standpoint and expect the game to survive. Right? We're keep going away from what worked for Neopets. How does connect the fucking dots and Candy Crush? Like, Candy Crush, if you want to play Connect the Fucking Dots, play Candy Crush. Why would I want to play the Neopets version? <clears throat> and it'll only ever get a fucking lick of attention because they're going to offer in-game rewards to playing it. Obviously, Neopets is a clusterfuck. If it didn't fuck over your accounts and your sides, like, like when you go to bed, say your prayers and thank RNG Jesus or whatever you believe in. Because a lot of people I know, it's just, oh, you're just not getting your account. Oh, you fucked up something else? Well... Now you get to wait fucking three months. Like, just handshakes all around. Once again, we... This entire video is, how do I leave what worked and what has kept people here? And how do I keep the people who keep paying, keep the lights on, paying more money and getting them super hype? Just always veering from what has worked to what is working now for different games. And going away from nostalgia to modernizing. I don't need new memories of me playing... Connect the fucking dots. And this plot they've milked out for 10 months, we still have no idea what it's about, what it's for, the characters, and most importantly, will it have any in-game changes? Or is it just like a fucking episode of South Park where Kenny dies and he's back alive? Where there's no personal investment? They still never released how strong the opponents are in the Battle Dome. There's so much shit that they just don't address. And it's so frustrating because they know all their eggs are in the NFT reimagining, or not reimagining, the repurposing. They give up the NFT aspect of it to just make it an actual game. And it, if you kill the main game before you release the bullshit 2.0, even those players are going to be mad as fuck. Alright, if you got this far, okay, we finally got to land of milk and honey here. 
this is where you get the death blow where he's gonna call the game the uni fucking metaverse game that's the new flagship game so this is when we're gonna dump our old girlfriend and tell you to fucking play the new one just pump us full of money baby here we go just remember this game was always fully designed to be an nft fucking scam basically where you they would first release the game and then as the game got more and more updates you would have to have a fucking nft neopet that basically at that time was going to cost you if you were a newer player three to four fucking uh is it solari solarium um solana which is like 700 bucks at the time <laughs> like who who is paying that cost of investment to the game when you like he was the head of the whole fucking crypto thing and just like a fucking shit in the toilet it's just fucking asleep and pray it gets flushed and never thought of it ever again just we're just not gonna keep accountable for that whatsoever but here we go death fucking death of the main ip here we go so hopefully that would be exciting uh, but the new new flagship game we're calling it the the world of neopets i think that would have a lot more resemblance of the the gameplay that we've experienced back in neopets.com uh but with a more like 3d world map uh kind of like a first person where you can explore the open world of the world of neopia and so it would be a lot more immersive and kind of we can all our returning users and new users can experience uh, neopets in a whole new way uh, uh, that we only could imagine back then. But the core gameplay would still be kind of interacting with your pets. Uh, we're bringing back the, the Neo Home feature. It will be uh, drawing a lot of inspiration from games like Animal Crossing. Uh... So it's one of these things where you would go, oh, they're just going to modernize and update the game when he's clearly, if he said, hey, it's just going to be a complete graphical update. He would say that, but that's not what this is. They're just going to re-offer the essentially the same base game with better graphics, which once again, that isn't the nostalgia that kept people here and excited. People have spent thousands of dollars. Some of them who still play across 10, 15 years, even less than whatever, on various stuff like they recycled the nc or non-converted old art that's still fucking drama but once again the tale of neopets is it's not getting updates and it's just trying to like every update is can can dominic make money off this to either fund this or to keep whatever the lights on i wouldn't call this like people defend the amount of people who stand for this and like the people who have our corporate shills in this game on the forums is insane where they go like, oh, like, I don't mind paying my this. You gotta keep the lights on somehow. So they're gonna like, it, they're gonna shill for, uh, <laughs> they're gonna shill for this game for making bad choices. But meanwhile, fucking, it, it, are we gonna see them fucking going, well, Walmart price gouging you? I mean, like, they gotta keep the lights on. Like, no. It's so frustrating when people just don't see like a blinding fucking gap in the fucking lighting, or I guess in the armor. It's so frustrating. And the part we doesn't just come out and just say. And just mark it, hey, look, we're going forward, so this is the plan. Big, shiny fucking game coming on the pipeline. But then again, here we are, ten months later, the the plot... Like, is the plot, because this has also been my conspiracy theory, is the plot basically going to end with the release of the World of... Or the, the Metaverse game? World of Neopets is what it's called, and I wrote it down. Because that's what my assumption is, that the world's going to go gray... And it's going to be dog shit. It's going to be like, that's base Neopets. The new immersive world is the new crypto world of Neopets game. Where there's no crypto anymore. But that that's going to be the transition. Where you're a dumb fucking idiot who still plays this old game. Come join the modern world. Come join the now. The future. That to me is purely how this is going to work. That's my conspiracy. Whether it's right or wrong. Make your own thoughts and ideals or guesses because that's how I see it. Because the whole theme is turning shit gray and dull and boring and outdated. When, And I just can't not continue the thought that the end of the plot's going to be the whole world's gone to shit. But look at this new shiny game. She's got fucking BBL, fucking double D titties, push up bra, mini skirt, fucking fake lips that I personally hate. Her hair's done. 
She's got your goth girl makeup on or whatever weird kink fetish you have. And it's time to fucking ride the pony. Like, get on the pony, look back at the old fucking game, and just fucking gallop to the fucking new game for your Prince Charming. But then again, can people give up the nostalgia for a basically reskin? Once again, if it looks amazing and it has, you know, something cool to offer, I'm going to guess it'll have some success because people are that loyal and they'll play both. But once again, I don't know what the new appeal is going to be. Who, like, how do they bring in new players? Because that's, this is, a, this, this woman here, she asked some good questions. She stays on point. Made, like, yeah, she did a great job. Even Dominic here, he is way better in a live interaction. I think almost everyone is than like a VR online face cam thing. But okay. Oh, excuse me. So, I just want to talk about nostalgia here for another minute. And because he, he's going to talk about at some point here 150 million past users, I forget. There's still like four more clips I want to talk about. And do I save it for there? Yeah, I'll save it for there. Come on. All right. All right. 10, 12 is where I want to go to. All right. But what is your plan to attract, you know, the next generation of gamers or like the, the younger audience that didn't grow up with, you know, that I'll go back here, but this is when you see Dominic's fully delusional. And despite him saying he's not a AAA game and they can't compete, you're going to hear him say shit that only a AAA company is going to pull off. So here we go. So I think uh, that's what the new game experiences are for. Uh, we want to kind of like introduce Neopets to the next generation of gamers as well. Yeah. But we know that with the old game, like the classic Neopets.com game, it will be probably be not that appealing to new users who have been experienced. So like, that was his answer. I, like, just, just run it by you one more time here. So like, the, the younger audience that didn't grow up with, you know, like, that game. Yeah. So, she's asking, how the fuck you compete against fucking Minecraft, Roblox, Brawl Stars, or Fortnite, or the still-maintained Nintendo IPs, or fucking po Like, what does your audience capture? How are you going to bring in anyone fucking under the age of fucking 25? So, I think uh, that's what the new game experiences are for. Uh new game experiences. So, he somehow thinks a fucking mobile fucking Connect 3... And a shitty island builder game that's capped after an hour of gameplay is going to attract new kids. Have you ever heard a kid go, oh, fuck, I want to play a dog shit city builder that is over in 90 minutes. And we knew it was going to suck. And then people complain. So they're going to do some bug changes like to give you more pebbles now. You can go read it on the forums of whatever. But it's so dumb. Like, yes, I'm going to play... <laughs> I still, it, it, that's the answer. Like he, he, he says this because he has not a goddamn good answer of how he's gonna do it. You're gonna see his face. He's like, uh, we have no fucking answers to that question. There's nothing we're doing marketing or gameplay wise that's attracting new players other than it's giving away free shit in the game already. We're just giving you free money. Just play free money, free money, free money, free money, botting, free money, no bannings. Get back your old accounts, old accounts, like nothing, nothing gets a new player here ever. Like n not a single thing. They tried the thing where if you buy a new year of an annual subscription, you get a, a little in-game NC. But once again, if you already were paying for the annual sub, you don't get the perks. So you once again, fuck over the loyal players who've been paying money nonstop. They just don't understand if they can make the players who love the game and have the nostalgia, those that were lukewarm to the nostalgia and have more of the affinity will slowly come back. You got to keep the whales here and the people who want nostalgia, give them that fucking injection into their veins. You're not bringing new kids here. The, the, the cost of entry is insane for Neopets. It's slow. It's dog shit. It's a process. It's frustrating. It's complicated. There's bots. People manipulate the fuck out of shit. It's just not a good game for kids at all. All right, this is what I've, I've 
<laughs> I wrote a note here. It says this is where more lies. <laughs> so 1042. All right, what does he say here in more lies? Generation of users. But I think that also the, the other part of it is uh, the original game was still making sure that it's the core of our IP because it's kind of like a living relic. And we do... He does this weird fucking thing where he literally fucking says... I'm going to flip a page here. That the flagship game will be the world of Neopets. And then he talks about this fucking... The lies here. He, he, he's keeping the game mainly because it's a fucking old relic. It's such a weird fucking thing to say. So we have a new fucking flagship game. But this game's still the core. Like you, these... these you can't have two fucking wives, guys, unless you're fucking on Sister Wives. <laughs> and then, like, legally only one's a wife. Like, you can say you have two wives, but once again, like, it's just, that's not... Also, the, the other part of it is uh, the original game was still making sure that it's the core of our IP, because it's kind of like a living relic. And... What do you mean core of the IP? You've abandoned the, like, you've completely abandoned the game. From a gameplay perspective, there's nothing new going on. They've been, they promised this new species, new paintbrush, a new plot in September of 2023. We're in fucking mid June here, early June, like 10th. And this is where, to anyone who is a real stan, like, you, you gotta fight this fucking little, it's, some proverb or some sort of like words of wisdom but basically when enough promises go unfulfilled words have no meaning right when enough promises go unfulfilled words have no meaning he just says shit and it, it just that's just fucking words there's no updates no content no integrity fucking accusations of your staff members Jenny items for Jenny trillions of what one like like it just the amount of MP that was generated is insane. Players getting unbanned, unfrozen bullshit. We just ignore all the main integrity things that happen. It's so frustrating. Like imagine you like just for the one person who's new who watched this video. Imagine you're in a class taking a test, and you're trying to like finish the top whatever do well, and you find out in your class. Of 100 people, 30% are bots owned by one guy. And you're going to compete against a guy on a test that's got 30 bots in the exam. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm, there's fucking 30% are fucking cheaters. Why the fuck would I care or do anything in this game? And he talks about the community. He just lets the game get fucking literally molested, essentially, from a game play standpoint and talks about how he's gonna keep this as a fucking relic of the old days he just lacks the integrity and transparency to say hey uh i'm dating this girl and i fully understand and expect like we're quote unquote dating but i'm in the fucking dms like seven chicks and she doesn't know that but for right now when she asks are we going to be together forever? And he goes, yeah. Like, he blatantly knows he's not. But that the trust and to get the perks from her right now, he says the lie to get the perks what he needs, knowing that once she's gone, fuck her, who cares? I don't care about what she thinks of me because she's fucking gone and new pussy beats old pussy. Or however that fucking phrase, I don't know how it goes. But, like, he just, he's at any point willing to fucking throw fucking anything away for the new shiny modern thing. He just, he just constantly cannot accept this game has its stable people, it has the people who are invested, and you're just not bringing in any new blood. You're like an old Amish community where this, they just keep building the same barn over and over again. There's nothing new. They have one design, one setup, one way forward, and that's all they're doing. There's no inside microwave, guys. There's no modernizing. They wake up at 6, they build a fucking barn, go home, have some some chicken soup and some porridge, guys. <laughs> Alright. It's so frustrating to hear this bullshit. Alright, moving forward here. 
He gives a bunch of bullshit here again, but I want to go to 1217. It's a great answer to what to respond to your earlier question about how we can attract new gamers and also like our returning gamers. So a big part of that strategy is actually our merchandising strategy. We're actually in the talks of launching a lot of new uh, merch and we're signing up a lot of new licenses. And that part of the business is actually where we can see that new pets can become a lot more than just a gaming IP and become a more mainstream entertainment IP. Uh, and if that was being successful, that also helped us to attract a lot of our lab users to come back and, and interact with us. They might not have to play the game, but they definitely remember their childhood favorite, uh, the Kashi, the Shoru, and having a different way to experience Neopets, even though they might not be a gamer anymore. So that, that would be a way to attract a lot of our lab users. I mean, at our peak of close to 150 million users. And also, that could be also a way for us to introduce Neopets to the next generation. It's just a banana sandwich splits that when he says there was a peak of 150 million viewers. It's once again, it's back to this whole fucking nostalgia versus modernized thing. We all remember fidget spinners or your Tamagotchis or whatever fucking craze you had if you're super old pogs. They were a fad and a short glimpse of time. Where no serious fucking person is going to go, oh, we're going to recapture the fucking hype. It entered pop culture, was super fucking successful, and then they did, they did, they had no way to maintain. A new up and cover, a new up and comer came, or became uncool, uncool like fashion. Fucking bright fucking neon shit came, fucking bell bottoms, other shit wearing clothes backwards. We all remember fucking Hollister and Abercrombie and Fitch and that kind of shit. And your fucking Uggs. Maybe they're still popular. But it comes and gone. It's like the win. The people aren't coming back to the game. <sighs> it's just overall like a thing like nostalgia. Like, <clears throat> for example, nostalgia. I remember as a kid, like nostalgia looking back. I remember the first time I played Spin the Bottle. <laughs> Far, a small farm, uh, yeah, I went to like a far, uh, sorry, fuck me. I went to a small school, I mean the farm kids. So like middle of kind of nowhere, like most kids, like yes, like we live, people have done farms or acreages, that kind of shit. Like a city folk wasn't a thing. We were all living rural. So we knew before this party, we were going to go play spin the bottle. And we had a whole elaborate plan of how we were going to hide in this like basement. And then play it when the adults were doing other shit. Like, okay, we're gonna, like, party ends at 8, and like 7.30, we're gonna do this. We're gonna, like, be able to say, hey, we're gonna go do this over here, and we're gonna have spin the bottle. Pretty cool. Also, <laughs> the chick whose birthday party it was, was dating a guy, and we're like, we're gonna get them to play 7 Minutes in Heaven. We don't really know what that means, but you can't play spin the bottle <laughs> really well when two people are dating. <laughs> But when I look back at that memory and the whole experience, I don't go, oh, hey, like, I remember the excitement, the fun. It was like, oh, like, like the buildup was way better than the actual game. But I look back with it. It's super fucking, I like, when I drive past this house every so often, I go, I remember right there in that basement, that house, spin the bottle. And I smile and I, like, enjoy that. But at no point do I go, like... You know what I want to do right now is go play spin the fucking bottle. It's like, oh, I don't want to go make a fucking shoiru, paint them purple, and do that. Like, I've played that, I experienced it, and, like, you, in some ways, graduate and move on to something different. Obviously, that's its own maturation process, but you look back and smile, but you don't want to go, oh, I wish I could, like, redo that at current day me. No. And Neopets doesn't capitalize on what it's doing well now. It just keeps overextending and pushing forward into new areas that it's just not welcome or going to outcompete other games in. They spend no time in reflection saying, hey, what do we do well? How do we double dip? How do we extend further down what we have that's working? They just, they just so desperately want to be hip, cool, and in the meta and to be popular. But they're, it's never going back. We're not bringing back fucking pogs guys it's fucking gone if you don't know what those are it's for a good damn fucking reason it lived and died like a, like a fucking dinosaur it's gone they ain't coming back 
They're dead. And you can't modernize nostalgia. That like that's not how it works. They're it's an oxymoron. Nostalgia is a is like a whole bag or like a hallmark of something in the past that was fun and fun and you look back with it and you go, that was pretty fucking cool. Like as a kid, corn mazes. Those were fucking cool. You couldn't pay me now to get into a corn maze. <laughs> like, okay, like if you have kids, you're like, oh hell shit, here we go again. But no adults like, oh yeah, fucking corn maze is fucking exciting. No. Once again, it's a crypto bro following people who are saying, yes, slay queen, revitalize, value, crypto, web three, bring it further, push it forward, was super popular. Like, any last closing statements? Modernizing, once again, just, we have a flagship, but then we also are going to have a fucking keeping the OG alive, or like a like it's a mainstay, so... Just the amount of circles and loops and backflips and just the gymnastics of putting a leg behind your head, doing a flip with both your hands and your foots are behind your back. It makes no goddamn sense. <sighs> and once again, we don't talk about the, like, we just don't talk about the broken shit like NFTs, bots. He fucking ran the NFT. Like, he profited off people getting fucked by the game. <laughs> like, this guy fucked you if you bought the fucking <laughs> NFT shit. Merchand Who wants merchandise? Who wants these stupid fucking mobile games? Like, he's spending money on that. <sighs> it's just so frustrating. And just once again, this is the kid in high school who's trying to be something he's not and so desperately wants to do it. He'll forsake any level of integrity and what he believes is right and wrong and boundaries to have a chance to be in the popular group. You know, he'll forsake it all at the dream knowing it's not going to happen. Like, yeah, a month before you graduate is not the day that the hottest girl in school is going to be like, oh, Dominic, you're so handsome, be my prom date. No, that happened never in history ever. And if it was, it was a fucking movie made in 2004 where it was a competition who could bring the ugliest person to a fucking movie. I, f I think there was a Heath Ledger movie about that back in the day. Rep Heath Ledger. But once again, just... Once again, they just cannot just fucking ride the pony. They can't overcome the problems. Like, you can't have both nostalgia and modernize. Not the way they're doing it, because I, I don't have nostalgia for fucking connect fucking four for Neopets in a reskin version. And once again, we strayed away from what's working and what worked kept people here versus modern appeal. Ain't gonna happen. And once again, the death blow is gonna be overextending versus delivering the small good wins we want. Instead, you fucking get to pay $7 for art they had 15 years ago that they said they spent 18 months to make darker lines. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. And to have it where they have a fucking gotcha gamble thing where you get a random one. And then, hey, we're going to release these. But we're, it's the old art we've always had. But it's going to be time sensitive. It's such bullshit fucking predatory behavior. I fucking hate it. This game deserves to fucking die. And when it does... You know, like, we can all hold hands and we can go, where'd it go wrong? This guy took fucking 15 fucking bad turns. Fucking it said, like, this guy merged on, it's like someone merged the wrong way on the honor wrap and goes like, oh, like, wh why is, why are these cars going the other way? It's like, yeah, you're doing it wrong from start to finish, not focusing on what worked and we're doing modern bullshit. This guy just, this guy wants to be fucking the savior and to be pop. I don't know what it is, but just whatever he's doing, this ain't it. Like he's not him. All right. I've rambled on with my zero editing. <laughs> just pause and resume. Hopefully you had something to learn here. Once again, I truly believe this game's going to have some fucking serious death turn. Like, like a crocodile fucking death roll once. This plot, like I said, my conspiracy is that this plot's going to end. This great plot. They're going to be, this game's dog shit and old and it's fucking broken. Come join the fucking new future of the fucking metaverse crypto fucking game. World of Neopets. 
That's new, shiny, and bright. I know you spent lots of money, time, and love on that game, but fuck that and fuck you. Come join the future because you're a fucking loser boomer. Come join the future and pay us money. All right. Peace.